actually no, it's actually going pretty pretty fast. Yeah, like, back, back back it's going relatively quickly. There's a quarter's going and losers, so yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. All right. This is B05. I'm gonna quickly make a tweet announcement for the stream because I forgot to do that. Third. Oh goodness. Got certain unlingling. Like you pull a turnip, I pull a phantom. See? Okay. Yep. Yeah, jumping into game one, going to PS2. And this is like the third time in the past week that these two have fought each other. Um, they fought each other at Xeno last night. They fought each other in the Wi-Fi bracket, and ZTN has taken it over Ling Ling every single time. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, Ling Ling will be able to win it in the run back. And I'm also curious to know, is um, is this a best of five or a best this of five? This is a best of five. This is a best of five. Okay. Winner is losing his grand best of five. Oh my oh. god! You know what I think it is, actually? Remember how you were saying that that looks like Ling Ling might have a port connection? Mm-hmm. I think it's actually specifically when he's playing against Jersey players. Mm. Because Jersey plus CT is probably the furthest distance you can get in Tri-State. My, my knowledge of East Coast geography is like non-existent, so I'm just going to have to take your word for it. As far as I know, I thought they were all like kind of next to each other. But South Jersey doesn't even exist. South Jersey's like Brooklyn. It's like that far. I I guess so. But <laughs> right. let's get back into it. Ling Ling still hasn't found the stock yet. That was interesting. That was good awareness on his part to know <laughs> that um his turn to put bounce off of the Phantom and be able to scoop it back up with the Mid Aerial. Yeah, no, we're getting some complaints in chat of um, Ling Ling lagging against some people. And and also yesterday at Xeno as well. I think I think Ling Ling does genuinely have some connection issues. And ZTN catching the neutral get up with that up smash. That up smash is so good against tall characters like Peach. And that down smash unfortunately not connecting into itself. ZTN is just going to get hit with one of the multi hits and just fall out of the rest. Trying to uh, actually armor through the uh, hits of the up B, but um, it, the I frames ran out. Dollar, you told me to watch Azel the Peach. Yeah, well, welcome to Encore, guys. I, I hope you I hope you enjoy your stay. This is Ling Ling and ZTN in winning's finals. Um, so so I really hope you guys are excited. <laughs> Z10 kind of taking the Tim at the moment. Riveting content. Oh, that DI did not exist. Wait, I just looked away for a second. What happened? Um, he got smooth. Too bad. Mm. I'm gonna be running into Battlefield. I think a stage like this is really, really good for Peach. Gives her all the space she needs to find uh -huh, turnips, but also uh, allows her to have a couple more ambiguous approaches on somebody like Zelda. And just like that, look how much mileage Ling Ling got off of just a couple of hits. Trying to two-frame ZTN with uh, the S-Smash, not able to find it quite yet, though. Dude, that would have been giga. That, that would have Omega murdered him at 100. This is much different than the last uh, last game. Last game, it actually started quite the opposite, where Ling was at 100 when ZTN was barely touched. Really nice use of the. Is it the turn up? Just slam way back there. And that's like this huge arc. This had to. This huge, just eat the hit. To uh, drop his entire edge guard from that moment forward. I love waiting out the Phantom, waiting for Infinity to land. But right now, ZTN is holding the corner so, so well. Trying to catch a preemptive roll in from Ling Ling. Ling Ling has shown like to do that several times. Um, but he's not gonna do it this time. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's actually in, in a really good position right now because he, oh, he was at 100%, he's really, really bringing this back. He loses stock, but at least 87%, not 
the 100 to 20 percent that it's, it was. It's, it's, it's lightning kick percent, you know? It's, it's teleport percent. Zelda, Zelda, Zelda has plenty of funny options that, that, that she can do it and be like, oh, uh, oh, oh, buddy, it's, it's an even game. Yep. Oh, look, you died. And where was the camera button? I like angling up Dense Fire so that mm -hmm. if he jumped over Phantom, he'd get clapped by Dense Fire. Yeah, he was just like basically forced to sit there and take it. It was just really nice option coverage from uh, ZTM. Forced Ling Ling to really play on his toes. In that moment, sitting in shield, maybe trying to bait a get up attack. Oh, and he had the right idea on the jump too, uh, but it was just spaced a little bit too high uh, to be able to get it. Nice, perfectly timing his shield. Um, so that he would not get hit with the fin. Ling Ling is dancing around ZTN's shield super, super carefully, knowing he doesn't want to get hit by an up, he doesn't want to get hit um, by, you know, one of those lightning kicks. Moves so quick. Letting that uh, up smash rip a little bit too early. ZTN looks like he is struggling to take out the stock. He's going to take that turn up to his face. Yeah, Ling Ling has no reason to approach or even, like, try to interact, but knowing that, he's like, yo, you want to pull a turnip? I'm going to teleport on your face. Mm -hmm. He was like, yes, you space Phantom, but you didn't space the rest. He's just going to teleport right into him. He's like, you know what? I've had enough. I've had enough playing this patient man's game. I'm just going to teleport right onto your shield and basically get away with it. Like, it is... The risk reward there was absolutely, like... I don't know who's doing the balance sheet, but why would you teleport when Ling's at 0%? Like, cool, you got a hit if it works. And if it doesn't, you get a full punish. We really, really need to face crap. Like, knowing that I'll be able to, like, hit tall characters like that. And now this is a very, very good uh, stock lead for Ling Ling. That was really it's smart. Like a complete... He did, like, he did, like, back air. Like, float cancel back air. And then went float cancel, but he turns around in the middle of float cancels. I mean... As on his landing, he turned around, so the fair was able to catch a lot higher than like the back air would, so CTN wasn't ready for it. He spaced that down it was super, super well, like knowing that like the only out of shield option that CTN could have probably done that would have hit him would be like a back air lightning kick, um, since the nail is slightly skewed upwards, and he was like very aware of like the direction that he was facing CTN. Just like shows how, how much situational awareness he had in the moment to be able to space his aerial like that on shield. I'm not liking these tellies, but I worked out for him there because he got his shield touched, but shield touch lightning kick, see ya. Poor throw, turn up. Winky face on deck. That's going to be the down throw into the queue, trying to wait in for an air dodge, um, but Ling Ling was just one step ahead of uh, ZTN perfectly, and Ugadi just threw out an attack. Nice uh, covering the goal and with the uh, Nairu's love. And ZTN is starting to bring this back as Zelda with Rage is super, super potent. But the back hit is going to take, take it. Yep. He's at the magic percent. That's why it happened. Mm -hmm. And now it's going to be 1-1 one, one through both. This is something. They're going to be going to PS2. Good choice. The game was like really thinking about it. It was like, oh man, I gotta gotta go and do my assets with PS2. This isn't a game that this isn't a stage that people go to often. <laughs> I haven't loaded this one in ages. PS2? Haven't heard that name in years. <laughs> Dude, I totally thought that when he uh, double jump floated back, he's gonna throw the turn it backwards. But then he just stood there with it. And I'm like, straight and he's just what's going on. Oh, what the hell interaction. What is happening? What has <laughs> happened? They just started swinging and slapping in each other's faces and they whiffed everything. Okay. Mom, call me, call me Italian because that was spaghetti. I don't know. Okay. Mom. Anyhow. <laughs> uh, ZTN doing really, really like a good job of pressuring uh, Ling Ling with his Din's fire. So even though like Peach has like a lot of mix and stall available in the recovery because of like how slow it can be and predictable at times. Um, a projectile like Vince Fire can definitely go super, super far and, and like just sort of pressuring it. Yeah. 
This is a strange way to get back onto center stage. He just like side bees over ZTN's head. I guess he would have also caught a jump, but Lightning Kick able to take out the Philly Stock. ZTN sitting with a good lead right now for himself. Well, not really a good lead for himself, but. I mean, it's only it's a battle lead if he dies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he lead grab really ledge. Don't, and don't he went a little bit too far it. down. Yeah, if he had if he had uh gone if he hadn't gone down that far, he would have had oh he would have at least have the option to go for the BP up here. But I don't even I think the beefy upbeat at best could have possibly like traded with the F smash. Um there was no way that it was gonna hit Ling Ling, I think. From that distance. But Ling Ling stalling super, super well under the PS2 stage, really, really safe. A stitch in hand. He yeah, has to be careful. Problem. And he j uh, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you just mash your keyboard. No, I I hit I have my other glass here and I and I and I boinked it. I would Dude, never hit my keyboard. He he actually had that stitch face for so long. And uh, <laughs> ZTN was just spamming uh, neutral B. I don't know what the name of that move is. What's the name of that move? Naigu's Love. So think of Naigu, except Naigu and Love. Yeah, ah. that's it. That F smash is so strong. It's not really showing off there because it didn't kill that early, but boy at ledge, that thing kills it like 70. It's crazy. That, that, move, that move scales like crazy. And and it has just like so much initial knockback to it. It's, it's, yeah, that move, that move is not... And it especially like coincides with Phantom so well because the way that like catches people stuck in hit lag. That, that move having such an active F smash on, on Zelda like that is so scary. When she when she tries to bait you to hit one of her projectiles. She also has a few setups to break shield with that. Speaking of breaking shields. Yeah, we have we have we have Mystic. He's just throwing them all away. Oh my god. That's fine. That's okay. Dude, there's no issue here. In the back, you're gonna take it. This is an effectively even game. All that Ling Ling really needs is like what? Okay. ZTN was just thinking he's gonna end it off. Ling Ling was gonna go for the low recovery. Yo, that didn't hit. He didn't charge the Phantom enough, so it didn't swing high enough. Really, really nice patience. Like knowing that the uh, biggest like blind spot of Naira's love is actually just above ZTN's head, and his just ability to just drift over it. And be able to time his down air properly. It was very, very nice. Oh, he has a huge lead here. Back row will take it. I, I think running up to him is super ill advised, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 88 percent. Now this is teleport percent. This is lightning kick percentage. ZTN, ZTN position himself to try to punish his Roland, um, just in case Ling Ling uh, preemptively hit that option. He's spacing his F smashes just behind Phantom. The angle on that. Oh. Oh. I'm barely certain that she'll poke. Uh, if uh, Ling Ling will actually be able to clutch it out in the gun back, or if this is going to go to a game five. Uh, no, nah, I think I think that was a uh, that, that was like that was on ZTN's counter pick, and still like manageable. I wonder if he oh, went back. Too. Yeah, he went back. I don't know. Um, I wonder what the bands were. I, I assume the band was like Town and something else. Probably Town FD. Mm -hmm. Something along, along those lines. You catch these landings with dash attack. It's usually like when Zelda's gonna catch your landing, it's always gonna be either dash attack or it's gonna be uh, up tilt. Up tilt, yeah. I, oh. <laughs> Shield looking dangerously small. Setting up Phantom. Ling Ling being really, really patient, just waiting out Phantom. Listen, if Zelda if Zelda's just like out there and charging Phantom, like just wait it out. That's the biggest thing to do. Why why even worry about coming back against a projectile if you can only just come back after it's gone? You have nothing that's, to worry about. That's a mad good setup when you have Phantom with your back facing ledge, so it like Phantom shooting at the ledge and you can cover roll with up tilt. So you got up tilt nair off of it and like a higher percent up tilt up air is like a DI check. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, and actually getting uh, pushed by the wind box a little bit, being pushed to safety in a way. Dude, he side right on top of that F smash and didn't get touched. Oh my goodness. Looking for that down throw into lightning kick, but 
he was at like the perfect percentage of rage to just be able to tech that onto the platform. That like almost didn't work out for him. Yeah, that was mad good. Up tilt, reverse, up tilt, nair. Mm -hmm. Oh, and actually being knocked out of the Nairu's love animation multiple times. Like, I feel like he tries to two frame Ling Ling with it multiple Um, and just like not able to uh, really find it. He needs to find a way to take out at the stock right now, like a back air, anything at the him over committing to the turnip grabs, and then he got a beat for it. ZTN is definitely looking out for that. He pulls Phantom, and he either chooses like Dense Fire or oh, he jumped out of that. He jumped and killed himself in the blast zone. But yeah, I was saying he, he pulls Phantom, and then he's like, I know you want the turnip. You pull the turnip, I'm gonna up be on your face. Really you nicely timed out, but unfortunately, he burned. Ready? Take an early death. Not able to connect the hits of the down air as he wanted. He's getting the through that. He uh, he's looking for some down air. Finally able to get a little something going. Trying to uh, maybe lead a low recovery because if that was a low recovery, that was going to be a four leader and that would have effectively been the stock. That interaction was mad weird. He hit him with side B and the phantom still went on. God bless, uh, God bless all that. And just like that, Ling Ling with one fit, uh, I was able to bring this back. Well, it's crazy, like, it's had such a huge deficit, and this has, like, beca yeah. become a lead for... Yeah, it's, uh... I mean, I still think this is anybody's game. Like, he's shown that like he can go from like a deficit like this to playing really, really patient and just waiting out your mistakes and poking mm -hmm. with Phantom Dense Fire. There's no real reason to commit. Nice call out on the extended float thing as well. Just using his name is super, super active. Ah, oh, Ling Ling, perfect. Ling -ling able to if he was, was like off by a second that could have been the stock trying to apply a little bit of shield pressure didn't work out the way that he wanted it to nice side beat to be able to circumvent the dense fire and the landing is going to get called out with the up air such a good anti air yeah, now we're going to be going to a game five and the winner of that set is going to be fighting the loser of the set that we have in front of us now. So the tournament's just about like entering its final phase at this point. Hmm. We're going to be going to Battlefield. I think Ling Ling really, really liked the stage. It's worked out really well for him. I'm not sure why. Yeah, no, no. He had he had the stage he had the stage advantage here because he won the last two games, uh, game. So it's it's his choice. Not able to get anything off of the falling air. Right now, Ling Ling over committed so that he wouldn't get like hit with the preemptive dance fire. You can't over commit to really laggy options like that. Because otherwise you're just gonna get hit with something like you know Zelda's teleport. What was that? You saw that, right? Please tell me you did. Yeah, I saw that. That was weird. It reflected back after the animation was finished. Still had the chance. Still swing with the fail over the ZT army. I. Okay. I. Interesting choice for the up -beat, though. Do you think he missed the ledge, though, or he was trying to go for some weed? Oh, he was gone. Oh. Fair, no, Wait, oh my, I thought he threw it away. I was I was about to lose my mind. I thought he, I thought he pulled the, the, the stitch and threw it away. I think he threw it up, not realizing it was a stitch. But, but did you no, see Oh my god. I, oh, I'd be fuming if I was laying right now. Ah, Ling Ling getting back 
Back to stage, a little bit of grab, optimal follow up, and turn up to go into the dash attack. ZTN missing the teleport cancel, and he's gonna and punish. Looking super, super good for Ling Ling right now. Ling Ling Beauty has to respect the fact that Zelda has a huge, giant, massive, big little up air. That up air is massive. It's like a, it's like a, like the, the cloud from uh, Atomic Bomb. It's, it's, yeah, it's just a giant mushroom cloud, and that, that was such a strange thing. Yeah, he tried to, like, get him off of ledge by up being um, high, since it would have been a regrab mm -hmm. if he didn't grab ledge. But, yeah. oh, that was, that was nice. That was a super good back throw. He's forcing a recovery. I like the fact that Ling Ling retreated because he was fully expecting a mix-up from ZTN. So you know what? He was thinking, I might as well oh. let him get back to stage instead of losing the stock. And now he has a 3-1 to one stock lead. He's holding on to these stocks super, super well, almost dying to the reflected, um, to the reflected turn up. What an amazing drift. That was, mwah, that was delicious. <laughs> The back they're gonna take it. I mean, he's at 180. That's it's better take it. All right. CTN has a lot of work to do if he wants to run it back. Mm -hmm. But right now he's keeping Ling Ling in the corner. Like one good Phantom lead uh, could just could be all that he needs. CTN miscalculating the distance of his teleport, teleporting right in front of Ling Ling's. Punish for it though. I, I didn't I didn't agree with the with the F smash there. Like yeah. when you're this far behind you definitely like take risk but not at not kill percent like it's risk reward. That lightning kick's gonna take it. This is hundred percent doable. It's not like Yeah, this like is still him. completely within the realm of possibility for ZTM. You could still pull anything out last minute. Every time ZTM double jumps like that, it is so scary because you don't know if he's going to try to teleport somewhere. You don't know if he's just going to try to air dodge. Are you seeing this lag too? Yeah, this lag is pretty bad. Uh-oh. Stinky. Goodness. That was incredible. That was a conversion off of the extended hurt box of Fair on... Oh, that's a Saturn. That's a Saturn. Not I want to like see him reflect it. Oh no. Ling Ling, please don't throw him away. Ling Ling, please don't throw him away. Ling Ling, please don't throw him away. That was such a good bait. That was such a good bait. That yeah. was brilliant. He, he no, held the Saturn and was like, yeah, you think I'm going to throw this? No, big boy, I'm going to.